God of all grace be gracious unto you today and always. And may your life find succor in the grace of God, in the coverage of God. And may it be well with you all the days of your life. In Jesus' name, amen. Today we are going to read Ezra chapter 1, verse 6. And all those who were around them encouraged them with articles of silver and gold, with goods and livestock, and with precious things, besides all that was willingly offered. They corrected slaves. That's the way I would like to title them. They corrected slaves. Slaves that were the corrected. Whoever heard of a slave going away, and the master of the slave gives the slave silver and gold and livestock, and all manner of goods. It's not realistic. It's not possible. If you are a slave, you are going out as a slave. Man, you go out and know that you served in slavery. All that you go away with is your freedom. And well, that is some freedom. Because you are in freedom of abject poverty. That, in effect, also puts you down as a slave. But here are the children of Israel that have served as slaves for so many years, 70 years in this regard. And God has troubled the heart of a king to return them to Israel. And while they are going, the people of the place give them gold, silver, all manner of articles. Does that work? How do you decorate the slave that is going away? We read in Exodus when the children of Israel left Egypt after hundreds of years. And as they were going, he said they spoiled the Egyptians. The Egyptians gave them articles of gold, of silver, everything you can imagine, unimaginable. They gave them so much gold that they went through 40 years in the wilderness and still had so much gold left. In fact, they had an abundance of gold that they could even create idols with the gold. They corrected slaves. What am I talking about? If you are a child of God, wherever that bondage has kept you, you are coming out decorated. You are coming out completely different. You are coming out unexpected, even to you. You wouldn't expect that's the way you will go out. When they were about to leave Egypt, taking into consideration how Pharaoh was dealing with them in the last days, they even would have thought that they would go without their clothes. But when they left, articles of clothing... Everything, they had an abundance of things. They had clothes enough to wear for 40 years without anybody complaining about anything because God had influenced this situation and that is the crux of what we are saying today. When God influences your situation, your results are different. And that is why I want to encourage somebody today, don't look at things and say, well, the way it works. No. It can work any way it works. It can be that pattern, but not for me, because I'm a child of God. Are you a child of God? That pattern is not for you, that regular thing. What is going to happen for you is different. You will be decorated in wherever you come out from. Did anybody put you in bondage? You are coming out today anyway, but you are coming out decorated. But have you already come out, and it didn't look like the things of the correction have come upon you, they are coming upon you. Are you a child of God today? The hand of God is upon you to do you good, to bring favor to your life, the kind of favor you never thought was possible. How could a slave wake up at night and hear the Egyptian saying, go, 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 and they bring gold and silver and say, go with this one, stay, go, leave the place. Is that realistic? In fact, almost certainly none of those slaves saw gold in their lives. They didn't know. They heard of gold, except they saw them on people's necks. And they said, well, this is gold, or in earrings or no strings. They said, that thing that you are seeing is called gold. And well, you can't go and touch it because you are a slave. But here they had an abundance of those things. Because God makes provision for you. God actually makes provision for you, no matter the state of life you are in. I want to let somebody know today that even in that state of life that is so horrible, God has a provision for you, an abundance of provision. No wonder Jesus said, I came that men may have life and have it more abundantly. That is to say, the men really were in trouble. But I have come to liberate them, not just liberate them, to bring an abundance of the goodness of life unto them. 
Or, well, who are you supposed to be? A child of God. Now, let's remember that these children of Israel had rebelled against God and they went into slavery. Where well, we are reading in Ezra. And all of the years they prayed and prayed and repented until they had repented thoroughly. God wouldn't do them good. Wherever you are and whatever you are doing, repent, turn around. What is repentance? Confess your sins and forsake them. Confess them unto God. And ask Jesus to cleanse you by his blood. And ask him to accept you as his own. To become your Lord and Savior. Do that even now. And God will reach you. And he will change the situation of your life. But I want to say, are you a child of God? Are you walking in the ways of God? Today is that day of yours. Today is the day that you are going to be decorated from your slavery, from that disadvantage of life. Whatever God is freeing you from. And are you free already? Then the abundance is coming. Today is a day of difference for all of us. Somebody is going to contact a difference, positive difference in abundance. So whatever your state is, it is a moment of abundance. Father, rain down. Yes, Lord. The abundance is raining down now upon you. For the Lord himself has brought the abundance unto you. Somebody receives a trailer load of the goodies of life. You receive even more than that in baskets, in trains, in whatever. Ship loads. But the abundance of life has come to you. And come to you greatly. They come in aeroplanes bringing from far and wide. As the scripture says, they come from the north, south, east and west. All for you. Today is your day of abundance. And the Lord has visited you. And this abundance will remain with you. And you live in the joy and the blessing of God. All the days of your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen.